Amen. Praise God tonight. This is at Phil Franklin, the building of the Bible Southern Center Church. And we come to you on a Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. We come to spend at least one hour with you and with each other looking at the Word of God. Tonight we're looking at, again, the book of uh, Philippians, Paul's letter to, to the church of Philippi. I, I, I say last, I think I messed it up last week. Uh, the church is born in the 16th chapter uh, of Acts, uh, and that that you remember is is when they they threw Paul in, in jail, uh, and Paul and Silas in, in jail. Remember, and, and, and they they put him in stock. That's the reason why they threw him in jail is because they they Paul uh, did exorcism on a young woman who had <coughs> possession. Demonic possession and was doing that fortune teller thing and, and uh, making money for for the men who controlled her. And they, when he cast the demon out, uh, 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 all hell broke loose with Paul and Silas because the, the, the owner of the girl, seeing the great loss, had the magistrates to arrest Paul and Silas, and they 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 they, they threw them in jail. Put him in stock and beat him with rods and, and, and threw him in the jailhouse. And, and there we find Paul and, and Silas uh, in jail at midnight. And they were, one was singing and the other was praying. And God came and shook the whole place. And remember, all the doors open and the jailer who comes in. Remember, the jailer comes in and uh, uh, he's about to kill himself. And Paul says, Do yourself no harm, we're all here. And, and he saved in that <coughs> incident. He saved, and it appeared that God had him in mind all along, because not only he saved, but your house was saved. And so this is this is this is the genesis of the of, of the church at Philippi. Uh, I, I kind of got that mixed up with the twenty second chapter of Acts when when the member Paul comes to Jerusalem and he comes into the temple. Read about a brother and he went there for, for, for spiritual for cleansing. Uh, 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 and the, 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 the people who were there recognized him and uh, they, 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 they charged him with bringing Gentiles into, into the temple and they were going to kill him. But there he's rescued by the centurion <coughs> who, who arrested him and threw him in jail and, and just stayed in jail since we are Philippi for, for two years and he petitioned the Rome to get to Rome and there in Rome he, he, he got his own house meeting folks and tied to two soldiers soldiers on one end, soldiers on the other end and uh, he writes his letters to to the church at Philippi, uh, church of Ephesians, Philemon and Galatia I think it is his prison ministries, so I kind of got that mixed up last week, so it's six the 16th chapter the church is born at Philippi the, 20, the, the 22nd chapter as Paul comes to comes to Jerusalem and he's, he's, he's uh, taken prison in Jerusalem now, now back at the, at, at the 16th chapter they had they had finally going to turn him loose and they were after beating him with rods and then they kind of come to find out that Paul is a Roman citizen <coughs> And you can't, once they wrote this play with their, with their citizenship, you mess with them, so anybody was a citizen, you got a problem. And Philippi said last week, they were granted self-government, they were granted uh, tax exemption, and they could, they could uh, uh, maintain their Roman citizenship. And they held it up to high esteem. But if you were the Roman citizen, you were saying something. And these, these people who to, to uh, Paul and Silas in the jail, didn't realize who they were messing with. Mm -hmm. so, so Paul said to them, is it, is it lawful for y'all to put lies or whoop, whoop up Roman citizens? And they said, what? And when they found out about it, the magistrate sent a message down. They said, turn these men loose. Paul said, we ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. He said, they put us in here. Mm -hmm. Let them come down here and get us out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the having a Roman citizenship meant, meant something. You know, it was, it was the highest order. Uh, in, in, in the 22nd chapter, 
you'll, you'll find that uh, one of the guys, one of the captains, uh, said, Jerry, see, I paid a whole lot of money for this Roman citizenship. I paid, I paid a whole lot of money. And so you could, you could buy, but it would cost you money. But Roman citizenship was, was, was meant a lot. And so, 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 uh, so Paul, and then Paul writes to the church at, at, at Philippi. And you remember I said he stayed in, in Caesarea for two years, and then they took care of him and took take his money and what have you to him. And then, then because he appealed to Rome, he stood before Festus and, and, and the other uh, governor and, and gave his story, thinking that they would let him go, but they were looking for him to be bribed. Mm -hmm. But that didn't happen. And so they honored Paul's request to be sent to, to Rome. But remember, God had said to Paul anyway, when he saved him, he said, go tell, go tell Ananias, go tell, go tell Paul uh, to, to come, I got, so he could start to tell the things he had to suffer, that he will stand before magistrates and judges and all that you know, in my name. Mm -hmm. And so this is all part of the prophecy that was upon Paul's head, that he would stand before these kings and magistrates and give testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was all part of God's plan. And not, not necessarily, you know, you know God, God, God had to get him there and he told him that he was staying, but how he got there, you know, the shipwreck and all that other stuff he had to go through to be deep with rods and, and one day when night in the deep, you know, God showed you, showed you his promise and his promise is valid, but to get to the promise is a different, is a different story. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe, Joe, you know, your, your brother's going to, your dad and them going to bow down before you, you're going to be in rulership. You know, build the king's show, but to get there, he had to go through the, the prison and, and uh, being, being shipped as a slave and all this kind of stuff. And so your, 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 your promise is good, Amen. it's genuine, but, but to get there is a different story. You're going to heaven, all right. Uh -huh. That's already done. That's a done deal. <laughs>
peace from God. Peace from God and the peace of God. Yeah. Peace from God comes from the fact that you, you have been born again through the death, burial, and resurrection of the Son who gave his life uh, and, and took all of our sins. And so God is at peace with us. Amen. Uh, he's at peace with but, but not That's good. But what we need, not only just being at peace with God, but we need the peace of God. Yeah. Well, I didn't get it, preacher. Well, I'm glad you said that. The peace of God, when you trust God for everything, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you don't you stop complaining and, and worrying about everything. You put everything, you, you say, cast all your cares upon me. Um, yeah. uh, yeah. You trust God for the life that you're living. You do exactly what He says to do. Amen. Uh -huh. and, and don't worry about the outcome. The outcome is in, is in God's hands. Yeah. Uh, and whatever the outcome is, it comes, it's resigned. That he might get the glory. Yeah. Oh, help us, Lord. Oh, yeah. that, that's why he saved us. He <clears throat> saved us to, to, to give himself glory. Uh, that, that in the end, the, the, the promises we get in heaven, that he's going to make sure it happens. And, and, and whatever circumstance, situation becomes us, he handles it. Because he said, he said you, you're a sheep. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the sheep, if you say you're a you know, your sheep, then he knows what we're capable of. Yeah. Right? Stupidity. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Uh -huh. we, we, are, we have no weapons. We can't fight nothing. And he, he, he says that about us because, because it puts him in a position as the shepherd. Help us, Lord. Uh -huh. uh, so we're sheep. Yeah. But he's the shepherd. Uh -huh. and, so, and so they may not fear the sheep because there's not threatening about the sheep. But but listen, it's the shepherd that 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 the one who brings all power yeah, and, yeah. and fear. Don't help us, Lord. Right. And right. he got a rod and he got a staff. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. And so so he grace you, the peace of God our Father in the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God for every remembrance of you, always and every prayer of mine, making this request for you, for you all with joy. And you'll find the word joy and joy. All the way throughout the book of Philippi, uh, he, 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 regardless of the circumstances, he had, he had still had his joy. Amen. Nothing is able to take away his joy, and he wants the church to understand that that whatever we <laughs> has happened to him, it has not taken away his joy. Mm -hmm. uh, and you say, "Wait a minute, Paul, you you've been all through all of that. You got a soldier hooked up to you, and you're still talking about you got joy." Your circumstance would dictate that wouldn't be the case. Mm -hmm. But but this is joy comes from a relationship. Oh yeah. You know, he said that in the first the first verse, you know, of, from the Lord Jesus Christ, from God the Father and the Son, is a relationship that that sponsors, that 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 brings joy because because it is joy is is a is, is a fruit of the Holy Spirit, and that can only happen if you've been born again, and he resides in you. Mm -hmm. It's joy, you know what I mean? You, you, did something, you did something comparable to joy, which is happiness. We talked about last uh -huh. week. Uh, the world experience happiness. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they can either pour it in or smoke it in. That's right. Uh, or they can depend on the circumstances. Huh? Mm -hmm. As long as the circumstances is going good and the sun is shining, they're so happy. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but things happen and life turns on the dime. Yes, and God, God does not say to us to be happy. Mm -hmm. uh, he wants us to experience joy. Mm -hmm. Because joy says whatever happens, it don't matter. I'm right. in God's hand. Mm -hmm. And nothing in the world is able to, to sever that relationship nor to deprive me of, of the feeling of the of the experience of the security mm -hmm. that God has given me. Oh, yeah. Help us, Lord. Yeah. And, and, I, and I, I don't care what happened. Uh, and listen, listen, to know whatever happened, that he got control. Mm -hmm. yeah, that'll bring you joy. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, he got, he got control. Whatever the world is saying, falls in the fall, you say, well, yeah, God got control. And anybody here, we ain't got no food, we ain't got this and that, but he's in control. Yeah. Out of, out of nowhere, he brings blessings. Mm -hmm. uh, he, oh, yeah. he'll make it fall from the sky. Yeah. 
Yes, they will. They, they walked with him. When he delivered them, that was one of the practices. They said, Lord, we ain't got no war. Uh, we in dry places, we in the desert, and the look of all things, of all things, he pointed them to a rock. Yeah. What's absurdity, huh? That's absurd. I know what I mean. I ain't, what, what, what water got to do with a rock? Huh? And he said, out of the rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is, when they got hungry, uh, uh, he, he made bread to fall from the sky. Oh, yeah. His bread. Right. He, he was baking. You know, mm -hmm. and made it fall, fall, and listen, he gave you enough for, for one day, didn't he? Mm -hmm. he, he had it. And listen, he fed you for one day. He said, every day, you know, if you pick it up, he got enough for the whole day. Mm -hmm. And those folks who, 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 who didn't obey him, try to get two days out of it, huh? try to pile it up, huh? mm -hmm. when you look, they had warnings. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. And, you know, yeah, yeah. And so, so when, when, they, when they said that Jesus teaches to pray, the first thing he said, give, give us this day. Uh -huh. Not what, not tomorrow, but give us this, this day. day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Our daily bread. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. He sends it. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it happened on that day, but listen, he been sending it from all of eternity oh, yeah. to rise right on that day. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't just come up with stuff all at one time. God did it in from the beginning, huh? and so he sends it. You know, even on our troubles, you know, he sends comfort to rise right at the time that we need it. To fall right on us. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just come up and say, oh, 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 I see we got problems to start some good today. Nah, it's been coming. Mm -hmm. uh, all of your help mm -hmm. comes from the Lord. Yeah. God sends it. Yeah. God sends it. Mm -hmm. And listen, that's why I said the scripture says, He sends new, new mercy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And that is a mercy, right? Yes, that is a grace, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, that is a grace. He sends it every, every morning, He sends it. Uh, Jesus, huh? you, got your name written down, huh? and you got a checkbook on it. Okay, another day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> another day. <coughs> and then, I, you, know, you ain't worthy of it. Right. You're not worthy of it. Right. You, you, listen, you went to bed last night without even saying, Lord, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, you ain't worthy of God this morning. Right. Uh, and you're looking for your eggs and bricks and bacon. Huh? And you Lord. And, and God, God, God said, hey, because of his mercy, mm -hmm. and because of his, because of his grace, yes. God sends it. God is, God is faithful. We're not, but he's faithful. Yes, he is. He's faithful. Yes, he is. He's faithful. He said, always, in every prayer of mine, make the request of you and withdraw for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day to now, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you, will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. God, God's going to finish this work. Yes, uh -huh. you, don't, you don't start now, you don't finish. Uh, he's going to finish it. He's going to finish it. He's going to he finish it until the completion of our salvation arrives with the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know why I tell you, but I do when he appears. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to be just like him. Oh, yeah. uh, and so God is working me for, for that end. Work to me. He's transforming me into the image of his other son. Yes, yes. Of his Lord. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's going to happen. He has begun a good work. That's right. Uh, he hasn't begun it. That's why I see not a few hours ago, I said, I know that I'm saved. I know that I'm saved. Because I, I, had the, I had the presence of the Holy Spirit in me. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 Help us, Lord. And listen, 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 this is the biggest thing is that I love the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love God. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Oh, yeah. Not only do I love, I love the things of God. Mm -hmm. I got all kind of evidence all around me. Yes, uh, right. and, and, and my, my, my heart is centered on doing the will of God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so I know I've been, I, I, I know I've been born again. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Uh, and there's a sense of expectation in me. Mm -hmm. This world is not my home. Oh, I'm yeah. expected to leave. I'm expecting to get out of here. Right. I, I don't have a full four one K plan for heaven. Help us, Jesus. Right. Oh Lord, I got I got an RSVP. <laughs> oh, that's his name. Yes. 
Jesus himself has given it to me. That's what I'm saying. In my yeah. father's house, he said. Be an action. I go away to prepare a place for you. And when I go away, I'm coming back to receive you unto myself. He told us. Of course, Jesus. I'm just, I'm just buying time. That's all. That's Thank right. you. I'm, make, I'm making my time worthwhile. Amen. Keep me the number of my day. Amen. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. I don't get up there in the whole day without thinking about it, without brainstorming, without mentioning his name. Oh, yeah. Let the world just consume my whole day. And before you know it, my mind is too weary and too tired to say thank you and pray. I throw myself down in the bed. Help us, Lord. Oh, he's a merciful God, isn't he? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, bless his name. Thank you, Lord. He says, he says, being confident in one thing, that he who has begun a good work will complete until the first day, until the day of Jesus Christ. Just as it is right for me to thank this of you all, because I have you in my heart, it is much as both in my chains, here we go, and in, in, in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you are all partakers with me of grace. Mm -hmm. uh, in my chains, uh, in my chains, in my confirmation of the gospel, confirming it, uh, preaching it, believing it, mm -hmm. spreading it out, uh, in my co confirming it, it is a reality. And, and, and know who makes the reality in us? The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit does that. Mm -hmm. He makes it. He makes it a reality. Yes, he, 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 he brings us into this, this intimate relationship with the Father mm -hmm. through the mediation of the Son. The Holy Spirit does that. that that's why Paul said that he, he, he bear witness with our spirit mm -hmm. that we are the sons of God. Oh, yeah. he, he bears witness. To our spirit. Yes. He said, go on and call him daddy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the daddy. You know, he, 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 he's not God to destroy you because he's angry with you. He's angry with you no more. Right. Help us, Lord. Oh, the yeah. son has taken care of that. He ain't angry with you no more. Right. All of his anger has been placed on and wrath has been placed on the son. Oh, yeah. And so now he's in love with you. Oh, so yeah. help us, Lord. Oh, yeah. oh bless his name. Bless his so when it means to have God in love with you, mm -hmm. man, you better get out of here, huh? <laughs> he, 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 he loved you. <laughs> he loved you beyond you could think of what you could imagine. Oh, yeah. God, Jesus, huh? Yeah, because, and the, and the, love, the love cannot grow. When God does something, it cannot depreciate. Mm -hmm. now, we, we, we've been in love or some of us anyway. Help us, Lord. In an old period of time, it seemed like love has lost its, its uh, intensity mm -hmm. because we're human. Mm -hmm. uh, we go through that kind of stuff, you know. And, 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 but, but God is different. He's the same process yesterday, today, yeah. and forever. Yeah. He cannot lose his intensity of love. Mm -hmm. When he first loved you, he loved you just as much then mm -hmm. as he does now. Yeah.
wished him well. Uh, they'll be all right. They, they, he sleeps to do well. Huh? But listen, ain't nothing like it when he show up. Oh, yeah. Love has to show up. Amen. Help us, Lord. You know, mercy is a different story. Grace is another story. But the Bible says that God is love. Yes, he yeah. is. Yeah. That's, a whole, that's a whole different ballgame. Mm -hmm. uh, love has to show up. But, but grace is, is, is contingent on how God wants to do it. Mercy, mercy is you, you, you keep holding back something that you should, you should get. You're already guilty, and you should receive punishment, but it holds it back. Yeah. Uh, but love, love is who he is. Yeah. Uh, he, he has, love has to show up. Yeah. Oh, help us, Lord. And the Bible says, God so loved the world that, that listen, the son had to show up. Mm. Oh, bless his name. Okay. He said, listen, I pray that, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, and that you may be sincere without offense to the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness which are Jesus, which are Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. But I, I want you to know, brother, that all that the things which, and then he goes on to tell them what happened to them, right? That they were still tied for him. I told you in the, in the 16th chapter, did I 16th chapter? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the 22nd chapter. 27, 27th chapter of Acts. Yeah, 21st and 27th chapter of Acts is when he actually was thrown into jail because he comes to Jerusalem. Yeah, all, all hell break out in Jerusalem, huh? mm -hmm. God's city. He comes there, and, and the Pharisees and Sadducees, that religious, legalistic uh, 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 group, they, they had, they had uh, his people that welcomed him, but there's <coughs> another group of legalists who had spotted Paul that would say that Paul was, was bringing in Gentiles into the temple mm -hmm. of all places, huh? violating the temple by bringing Gentiles into the temple. Mm -hmm. And they got angry with Paul. They wanted to kill him on the spot. They said, let's, he said, oh, he's the off with this man. Let's, let's kill him. Mm -hmm. And they would have killed him except they, they created such a turmoil that they got the attention of the Romans. Mm -hmm. And they came in, the Roman centurion came to <coughs> rescue Paul uh, and saved him from the crowd. And as he was pulling him out, Paul said, let me talk to the crowd. Let me talk to him. <laughs> and he spoke to the crowd in Hebrew. He said, I'm, I'm one of y'all. He said, let me, let me tell you what happened to me. I was on the, I was, I, I, was, I was under the feet of Gideon. Yeah, I was one of the Pharisees of Pharisees. He said, I was at the tribe of Benjamin. He said, he said, I did all things according to the law. He said, I was the spokesman for, for getting the church, doing part of the church. And he laid it all out, gave him, gave him all, everything that happened to him on the Damascus road. And then he made the mistake of saying that salvation included the good job. <laughs> All hell broke loose. Mm -hmm. uh, because the Jews would not accept the fact that the Gentiles were, were brought in uh, to the church of God without going through the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. And so, so they, they went to dirt and they said, We're going to kill you. And after he gave his, after he gave his speech, you know, it, it intensified their hatred. And, they, and they, he had to be rescued and he went to jail in Caesarea Philippi. He stayed there for two years. And because, because he wanted to go and, and, and uh, appeal before Caesar, because he's a Roman citizen. Mm -hmm. He got the privilege. They, they had to watch how they handled him. This is a Roman citizen that they're talking about. He's a Jew, all right, but he's a Roman citizen. Mm -hmm. and, when they, when they, and they had to respect that. And so, so saying him the wrong was the next, next, next step. And you remember in the book of Romans that he, how he desired to go to Rome. But he didn't desire to go that way. Uh, he went to Rome and changed. And yeah. when he got there, they gave him his own house where he was able to conduct yeah. his business in, in that house with soldiers on both sides. And that's how he, he, he did until, until his time, it, until, until Nero would decide what to do with him. And he said to the church, they could either, either kill me or turn me loose. It don't matter. We're gonna read that. We say the one of the and so he was expecting deliverance one way or the other, and to him it didn't matter which way it came, mm -hmm. right? Because, because he, he he knew the law, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. he, he, he knew it the best way. He said for me to live as Christ and to die, and to die dead. Mm -hmm. Now listen, 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 listen. What he had to 
say, I don't know what it was. He was getting a, 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 a pie apple, but he was, he was taken to the third heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was shown all these different things in heaven. Mm -hmm. And God said to him, Paul, don't you write none of this stuff down. Mm -hmm. Bring him back. Uh, and the Lord, listen, Paul said, God had to give me a thorn in the flesh. Mm -hmm. So that if he didn't, you know, I'd have been fucked up. <laughs> you know, then he fell us here, the legalists and all these other people were talking, the heretics were talking all this mess. Ain't never had that kind of experience. And Paul had been to the Paul had been to the third heaven, been in heaven, I came back down, and all they got is in there running their mouth and looked at theories and everything else. And he had the fact of reality. He had been to the third heaven and God had to give him a thorn in the flesh to keep him ready about it. Yeah. Uh, and so, so he knew what heaven was. So, oh, yeah. so, 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 listen, to die, he knew for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> to die, he knew as a certainty oh, yeah. what was in heaven That's and it. that he was going when he died. Amen. So, hey, help us, Lord. And, and listen, 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 listen,
it about her. And she'll, she'll bite you too, baby. She'll bite you. <laughs> oh, help us tonight, Lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we go through this thing. So that it has become evident to the whole palace guard. And I've got to say something, man. Mm. To the whole palace guard and to all the rest that my chains are in Christ. That's a testimony. Yes, the whole Praetorian guard knew because they were attached to us huh? all day long. They were attached to us. They had to switch up and somebody come on for every four hours it would change. And so the whole Praetorian guard knew that it was because of Christ. Oh, yeah. What a testimony. Yes, Lord. What a testimony. What a testimony. Yeah, what a, what a testimony huh? it, it affects everybody. Yeah. Huh? That they knew that you that you suffered because of the cause of Christ. Mm-hmm. Huh? Who is that went to jail in South Africa and stayed with 27 years? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Look, he did more in jail. Did he did our jail. Uh-huh. Uh, because, because he was suffering for the cause. Yeah. See, the cause the cause is bigger than us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's bigger than us. Uh-huh. Uh, and so and so you gotta see, you gotta see you expendable when it comes to the cause. Oh yeah. Help us for the cause of Christ, man. That you know the, I give my life for the cause of cause of Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he saved me. To be a to be a billboard for him, yeah. uh, that the purpose of my living is him. Oh, the yeah. Christ I live, I live for him. Yeah. He's the only reason why I'm living. Other, I can't, I can't, I can't, can't live for money and live for prestige, live for this and that and my job and all that because those things will fade away. Oh yeah, they'll leave you. Yeah. If that's what you live for, you cheap with your life. Mm-hmm. Trust me. I don't care if your wife, your husband, your children. <coughs> that, that, that's what you live for. You disappoint. Oh, yeah. uh, he saved us yeah. that we might live for him. Yeah. For me to live, he said, for him. For me to live is Christ. You know, yeah. hey, man, <coughs> to die, I don't lose nothing. To die is gain. Oh, yeah. uh, because it's after from this body. Yeah. It's from this body. It's from this body. It's from this body. I can never lose anything. Help us, And most of the brethren in the Lord, having become confident by my change, are much more bold to speak the word without, without fear. Mm-hmm. They had to deal with the Romans, they had to deal with, with, uh, with, the, with the Jews, uh, the Pharisees, the Sadducees. They were enemies of the church, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of, of, of the Jews. When we say the Jews, that means the high office. Mm-hmm. They were in, in, in Rome kind of them in the Rome just like the Jews anyway, because they were fanatical. Uh, but they didn't, and that's why they didn't mess with those Jews, because they knew the Jews would cut their own throats if necessary. Uh, they, 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 the Jews didn't, they, 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 you, you didn't mess with them. Uh, and if you did, they were willing to sacrifice themselves. Uh, but uh, if, if you get that kind of commitment, and kind of craziness, and, and, and your disrespect from, from, from the Islamics, uh, if you say something about about uh, they, uh, Muhammad, they'll kill you. Mm-hmm. They will kill you. Uh, we could, they, in this country, they make fun about the Lord, huh? But in, anywhere outside this country, you make you they say something derogatory about Muhammad, you dead. <laughs> huh? And they'll think it's an honor to give their life for that kind of crazy thing. Yeah. Yeah. They do it. They get you. Yeah, they, yeah, they will. Yeah, they do it. They do it. But we, you know. To us, that, 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 and, we, and we got the real deal. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Help us, Lord. Yes, indeed. So they, some of you talking about the preachers now. Some of you, you believe, because you know, some of you preaching and you preach for, uh, some preach even from envy and strife and some also from goodwill. So you had a mixture of that. Mm-hmm. You know, people were preaching. What were they preaching? What were they preaching? They were preaching Christ crucified. Mm-hmm. Right? That was the gospel. Mm-hmm. The gospel of Jesus Christ is that Christ came and he died, he was buried, he was raised from the dead. Mm-hmm. That was, and in there, if a man believed that, God would give him eternal life. Mm-hmm. Huh? But of the Jews, the Jews on the other hand said, no, that don't work. So, man, you, you can have Christ all right, but you need the law, Moses. Mm-hmm. Huh? And remember, they charged Paul was for, 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 uh, for speaking against and preaching against the law of Moses. Uh, and all Paul said, you can't say be saved by law, you're saved by grace. 
grace. The law was never designed. I was behind the law. Never designed to save you. I tell you know why I can't save you? Because, because, because it, 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 you can't, it can't save you because you can't keep it. Amen. That, that it makes you sin. Amen. It, 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 it rises up the rebelliousness in you when you see it. So if, 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 if you say don't cut it, the first thing you do is cut it. Mm -hmm. So it makes you. So it's never, it was never designed to save anybody. It was designed to bring you to that point where you stood, understood you couldn't be saved by the law. Mm -hmm. But the law introduced you to Christ. Amen. Oh, yeah. Helpless Lord. Yeah. yeah. And so the Jews say, you know, even, even those who said they were saved, they were trying to invent, they were called the legalists, they were trying to invent those people in the church that, yeah, you can have Christ, but you also need the law. You need to keep the law Moses. Mm -hmm. And so keep the law Moses, you got to be circumcised. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Be circumcised. Paul, Paul said, Paul said, nah, that, 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 that if you add anything to it, mm -hmm. it, it, it uh, you frustrate grace. Mm -hmm. we're, we're saved specifically for the fact that he wanted to save us. Amen. We couldn't keep law. Mm -hmm. We can't, we can't, man cannot be justified by what he does. Mm -hmm. Right? And the reason why he can't be justified is because he can't do what he does perfectly. Mm -hmm. Then you're good and you're all right. You can keep the law. Mm -hmm. But you can't do anything perfectly. And God expects Perfection. Yeah. Uh, with all your heart, mind, and soul, uh, he expects you, that's what the law would try, mm -hmm. but you can't, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Because you're set up. Oh, yeah. you, got, you got a rebel in the inside of you right. that whatever the law says, you say, I ain't going to do it. Right. Don't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and look, it rises up in your children, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, as soon as they get older, the fully draws up, you just tell me what to do. Help us all. Okay, let me tell you. He said, the former priest of verse 16, but the former priest Christ of selfish ambition, not sincerely holding to add affliction to my chain, but the latter out of love, knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the gospel. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in true Christ is preached, and that this I rejoice, yes, and I will rejoice. I'll show you that word joy comes in chapter. And so whatever they will read this art in preaching it, God takes God God takes what they what the preacher and he uses it uh, to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, when when we pray, when we pray, when we pray, help us Lord Jesus Christ. It's just a bunch of mess most of the time. Uh, when you think about it, all that prayer and stuff we do, posture we do it, and tone of voice and all that kind of stuff and and all, and all that, it, 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 all that we say is what my time is a bunch of stuff. And you know what has to happen? The Holy Spirit has to take content and transform it into intent. He does that. Mm -hmm. like, oh, you, don't know, you don't know what to pray for. Mm -hmm. The Spirit will take our mess. We start praying for all our emotions and sometimes for all our intellect and all of this and all of that. And the Spirit has to pass by way of the Holy Spirit. He takes content and change it into intent. Mm -hmm. He knows where all that mess you stuttering through what you wanted to say. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. He takes all that mess and he delivers us to the Father. He delivers us to the Father. What you intend to Spirit does that. Yeah, he, he, he's a prayer warrior for us. Yeah, we we, 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 we tone up and, and fix our faces and, and hear all that kind of but it, it's prayer yeah. in the favor of the Holy Spirit. Oh yeah. He does that. Yeah. Help us more. He teaches us what to pray for. Mm -hmm. Oh bless his name. Yes, bless, his name. bless his name. He says, for for I know that this will turn out for my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit in Christ. Now, when you talk about salvation, he ain't talking about being saved now. He's talking about what? He's talking about being released from jail. Mm -hmm. He expected to be released. One way or another, he expected to be delivered. Mm -hmm. uh, he, expect, he expected to get out. But if he didn't get out, it didn't make any difference. Yeah, he, he came to the according to, my, according to my earnest expectation and hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. But that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a shame of it. You know, there's a problem called he in jail. I let you the criminal. Talk about a criminal. Mm -hmm. huh? And he tried to tell him, I'm ashamed of where I'm at now. I'm ashamed. I, 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 I'm here because of Christ, not because yeah. 
I'm a lawbreaker. But because of, because of Christ of you, Amen. don't be ashamed of me, Timothy. Don't be ashamed of me, Titus. Don't be ashamed of me, our church. Uh-uh, don't be ashamed of me. Uh, I go to jail and anywhere else I have to go to for the cause of Christ. Oh, yeah. That's what he said. He said, for, for, for according to my scripture, but that with all boldness and all that, so now also Christ be magnified in my body, whether by life, it don't matter, one way or another. You know, if he can be magnified by my life or by my death, you know, and, and he, at this point, it don't matter to him. He or salvation is going to be his Amen. one way or another. He said, for me to live is Christ mm -hmm. and, and to die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this will I, I mean fruit from, from my labor, yet what shall I choose, I cannot tell, by hard press between two having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better, okay. nevertheless to remain in the flesh is more needful for him. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, you. Yeah, I'm talking between, I'm talking between whether to stay here. Now, staying here means that, listen, I'm going to do what you told me to do, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lift you up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to treat with my mission and responsibility with just as much uh, power and commitment if I would, if you were taking me out of here. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. it, it ain't gonna matter. I'm, I'm, I'm caught between the two. But for your sake, mm -hmm. uh, but for your, you know, you know, that, that's what we preach that we need. There's some babes in the church mm -hmm. that, that we need. There's some folks that, that, that need some spiritual growth. There's there some, there, there some, uh, some doctrinal error. Mm -hmm. There's some behavior error. Uh, there's some problems in the church that I need to be here for. Yeah. Uh, so for, I'm, I'm needful here, but listen, Lord, if you got if you got another reason, oh, <laughs> take yeah. me out of here. Mm -hmm. Take me out of here. Help us because I live for you. Yeah. Why I live for you? Why are you in your bed at night and you got a quiet moment? You ought to think about that. You need to live as Christ and die as gay. I don't care. That's my purpose in life. Now, okay. and listen, if it's wow. your purpose, if your purpose, if your purpose, if you're understanding your purpose, then you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hone your skills. Mm -hmm. Prayer, the evangelism, the meditation. Uh, you can't, you can't just have the life and not, in, not, in, not improve the life. How do you have a pray by walking with the Spirit? Yeah. By meditating, by going to the Lord. By making yourself available and accountable to God. Mm -hmm. by, 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 being, by being tenacious. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be out, out come hell and high water. It'll make no difference. I'm going to be here. Yeah. I'm going to be where God can use me. Amen. And, and I'm not going to be here, but I'm going to be prepared. Amen. I'm going to be prepared. Uh, I'm going to have, have something in my back pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't there stuttering. I'm not, I'm not here stuttering. I have, I have been walking away for too long. Oh, not to be able to tell the fellow head of it. Let me tell you about Jesus. Let me, let me tell you what he did. Uh, it's been too long. Oh, yeah. It's been too long. And I can, I can, I can intelligently uh, explain what I believe. Help us, Lord. You know, I, I've been away too long. He, he brought me out of too many places. And oh, yeah. 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 And I, and I, I can't, I can't, I can't intelligently tell you what can happen to me and how it happened and when it happened. Help us, Jesus. I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. I'm wrong. I don't just come, I don't just come to church. I don't just come to church. But if you stop me, I'll tell you. <laughs> If you, if, you, if you stop me, I'll tell you. Mm. Uh, and I ain't gonna study about it because I've been with it too long. Oh, yeah. Been with it too long. You, you done caught me in and asked me, asked me about my wife. I could sit out and tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you about it. I've been with it too long. Mm -hmm. That was long. <laughs> Look at what that she's like. I'll tell you what she's like, now. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't expect that from me. That's right. You've been with that woman all these years, oh and you are the one that got something wrong with you. <laughs> You've been faking, man. Uh -huh. But I don't. It's not wrong. <laughs> and listen, listen, man. Listen, listen. Every way you go in every church, ready to have somebody talking about it. Oh, one way or another. Oh, yeah. One way or another. Listen, you, you, you are a habit in here. I got a testimony. Oh, yeah. that, that's how that's how Paul ended up in jail because he had a testimony uh -huh. yeah. for the Damascus Road. Yeah. He knocked me off my feet. Yeah. He said, Paul, 
said, I bet anybody in my hand and eyes, I come and take the shield from my eye. Yeah. So, so, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so you got a testimony. Yeah. Yeah. 